Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. Today we have Defiance by Mario Goni. Now he has a little tilde above his name, which would make me think it's Goni, but everybody who pronounced his name in the video said Goni. Go figure. Anyway, so what you're getting... Oh, <laughs> I'm retarded. Look at the very top right there. It, well, you can't see it probably. It says, Invisible Thread Magic Like None You've Ever Seen. Uh, I spent my whole written review trying to avoid using the word thread because I, I didn't see it anywhere on the ad copy and I didn't want to spoil that to the those who um, aren't familiar with the concept. So I, I used ITR a lot, Invisible Thread Reel, which is what you're basically getting with this. So... This uh, maybe I'll go back and change the review. I'll just leave it since I got the video here anyway. Uh, so that's what you're getting. You're getting an invisible thread reel. This is a different thread reel. It's not. It's a little bit different from what you may be used to. And I'll tell you one of the biggest things. And I, I, I tried to write this up in the um, in the written part, but it was kind of hard to explain without actually using the word thread. But now that you know it's thread, since it's right on the cover, uh, let me explain. If you've ever used an invisible thread reel when the thread breaks which it will it's just part of the nature of this kind of stuff the the thread goes back inside the reel and you can't get it out so you have to take the reel and you have to suck on it and blow in there and suck on it to suck the thread out and then catch it it's very much a pain in the butt this new reel this it, you don't have to do that it's very very clever the way it's designed um I, i'm half tempted to show it to you since you probably already know what a, th a thread reel looks like but just in case to protect it you know so that uh, somebody doesn't see this and try to pirate it or copy it or whatever, uh, so I won't show you. But it, the way it's designed is you don't have to go through that business when the thread breaks. It's very, very cool. So that's a plus about this. Um, just If I were just rating the reel itself, five stars. It's excellent. It's a very good reel. Um, the DVD also comes with some little, uh, little sticky things here, the little glue dots or whatever, for mounting the reel not on your body. You can still mount it on your body like a typical thread reel, but you can also mount it uh, somewhere else and anchor it somewhere else. So anyway, uh, that said, I, there were some disappointments on this video. There are four effects. One's uh, labeled a bonus effect. The three effects you get, one of them is floating bill. Well, anybody that's ever used an ITR has done a floating bill, but this one is different. It allows you to, I don't have a hoop around here, but it allows you to have the bill floating above your hand and you could pass a, a ring over it some kind of ring you could borrow if a spectator's got a hard round bracelet or something you can borrow that pass it over the the bill and it's very clean some of the displays you get with is very clean and the hookup is very simple it's probably the best the, the simplest hookup on the whole video um so that that one's good um then there's uh the the spinning credit card now this is, you know, the UFO card, you've all seen that, where you throw the card out and it spins in the air. Um, the difference, though, with this one is it spins, like, it's a good, you know, 10 feet in front of you, 5 feet in front of you. And then it's in the middle out there spinning, and then whenever you want, it'll come back to you while it's still spinning. And then you catch it and hand it right out. Um, that hookup is very clever, for sure. And it's I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. But... It's not the most practical thing. Uh, you can you can do it, and it's it's pretty doable. You can get into it relatively easily, and you could do it in a strolling setting and that kind of thing. Um, but you need a good. I mean, you got a very good distance for your hookup. I mean, you need like I don't know, 15 feet uh, of hookup. So between you and the anchor, there's like 15 feet. That's if you've ever used thread, that's risky. You know, someone can walk into your thread or whatever. So you got to be careful with that. But the, the hookup's more than it's simple in concept. It's not just simply an anchor point of thread. There's something else going on there that allows that ability to have the card come back to you. It's very clever. Uh, it just takes, uh, it's going to take some practice to be able to hook that up on the fly. The third thing was the in the air change, which is very beautiful. Uh, it's a piece of uh, uh, tissue paper, tissue paper. Fold it up, and sorry, I gotta I just get rid of that. It's bugging me. I had to check my blood sugar a minute ago, and it just wouldn't stop bleeding. So I just threw some tape around it. Anyway, so enough of that. Uh, so the the hookup for in the air change, or, or I'm sorry, the effect, some tissue paper, 
and it's floating there. Then you light it on fire, it bursts into a flame, and then in its place is a floating dollar bill or a borrowed ring that you vanished earlier in your show or whatever. Now think about that, what you know about flash paper and thread work. The flash paper is going to burn the thread and break it. So how is it still, do you have it still floating there? That's a very, very clever way to do this. The problem with this is that you can't do this one on the fly, which is okay. You just can only do it in a set show. So if it's a show where you have to set up the anchor and all this stuff that's involved, which is a pretty simple hookup for the most part, um, but you have to set it up and have nobody go near that space and it's got to stay there until you use it. So this is best for a set show where people aren't going to be in your stage area. Um, so now what was ridiculous was um, Mariano uh, Goni did it on a, sitting on a couch. So he's got a thread running across him in front of him all the way across the length of a couch. And he's doing it. He said that's the ideal place to do it. That's ridiculous. It's, of course it's not the ideal place. First of all, you run the setup for the thread. Then what do you do? Climb under the thread when nobody's looking? Um, and then while you're sitting there, people try to sit next to you. Tell them, no, don't sit here because you'll break my invisible thread. I mean, that's no, that's a terrible place to do it. It's not a very good place at all. It needs to be in a set. And he later says that it's, um, it's more of a stand-up thing. So I'm not sure what the whole couch business is about. Anyway, that was a little annoying. Then uh, there's the floating cigarette. This one bothered me a bit because on the ad copy it says, a cigarette floats in the middle of a crowded restaurant table. While in midair, the magician borrows a finger ring, passes it around the cigarette. Both objects can be examined. No, they can't. The ring can because it's borrowed. The cigarette is gimmicked to the hilt. You cannot examine that cigarette. Now, um, you can if you switch it. However, the, the methods shown for switching were very awkward and very, I, I'd almost call them impractical. I just don't think that they were very, very good. Um, and they... The thing that bugged me overall about this whole video is everything was was a walkthrough. There was no actual performances. Um, they never really did. I mean, there's a few cases, but they never really did a, let me show you what it would look like at full speed. They never did that. They'd always walk through it and talk through it as they're doing it. And and so when, you, when I see that, it makes me a little suspicious about how legitimate these methods are. And so that bothered me quite a bit. And this cigarette was a very good example of that. First of all, you're going to need to get some extra stuff to gimmick the cigarette that, you, that doesn't come with the DVD um, and some other stuff besides just thread and the anchor point for the thread that allows the levitation to happen. And they talk about being in the middle of a cluttered restaurant. This is not the kind of thing where you can walk up to a table and just do it. You just can't. The setup is too awkward and you just cannot do that. It's, it's more of a thing where maybe you're hanging out with some friends and you, you might do it there. But even then, you have to have that little special extra thing loaded in your card box. And you got to have your card box sitting just so, and the anchor point sitting just so. And the, the, there's no play there. There's no um, room for error. You have to have it just perfect. And so it's a little bit um, iffy, in my opinion. It looks amazing. Uh, to me, it's more the kind of thing that I might have set up um, just at my house or something. I, I wouldn't do this effect personally but if I did I'd have it set up on my house ready to go when somebody came over or something like that just to mess with people um, but to do it where you're claiming you're borrowing a cigarette and then you're switching it in and out for the gimmick no way it's just not very practical at all so here's the thing because of some of those things I just mentioned I, I was going to give this like a three-ish star rating uh, but the fact that the 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 reel itself those things go for 40 bucks this whole DVD is only 40 bucks Plus, you do get some really clever thread hookups. So all in all, I thought a four-star is a pretty fair rating for, for that. So that's it for this one, guys. It's a little bit longer of a review. Sorry about that. Um, and th that's it. So Defiance, Mario Goni slash Goni. I don't know which one it is. Let's take a look at the Random iTunes song of the moment today. We have... Oh, yeah. One of the best Iron Man songs ever. The Trooper from the Peace of Mind album. Man, I love the song. And that guitar, I mean, hello. Sounds like Galloping Horses. Which, if you 
know the lyrics to the song and you watch the video, you'll get that reference there. But that it does. Anyway, one of the greatest bands ever right there, Iron Maiden. So I'm glad that was the song of the, the day today so or the moment. I'll put that link uh, to that video, which watch it. It's a pretty cool video. And it's, it's actually a true story of a real war. Uh, you watch the video for which war it was and all that. But anyway, I'm so rambling on today. So I'm going to shut up. See you in the next review, guys. Peace out. <laughs>